Hello, everybody. What is going on? What the heck is going on in the words of Buggy? So, this is Buddy Blackford here with an After Effects tutorial about focal length with your 3D cameras. And you need to know how to use focal length so you can pick the right camera for your project because they do it does different things when you have a different focal length. Now, I wanted to tell you guys a quick story before I went on to this because focal length is going to be mostly me talking about it and there's not a whole lot of different things to show. So, let's go on with a story. I it was a nice day out the other day, like 80 degrees. So, I decided to go to the uh the local market, the meat market, and I picked up uh, a couple ribeye steaks, and they were like fifteen dollars each. And I bought some for me and Bucky and Joby. And if you guys don't remember uh, who Joby is, check out some of the vlogs, and he's the big guy that just makes f funny, sarcastic jokes all the time. So I was cooking those up, and uh, we cooked them like perfectly pretty much and put them on a plate and uh we're eating them and all of a sudden bucky just starts like taking parts of it with a fork and just like whipping it into the into the grass in his yard and me and joby are like well what what the hell are you doing and he cuts out all of the uh fatty parts of the of the steak and just like throws them away now where we come from people don't usually do that and you pretty much eat all the steak unless it's like a tough ass tendon or something like that or it's from like walmart or something like that then you can throw off parts because who cares but <clears throat> so we were like kind of like dumbfounded so we were kind of like what the hell so now when he uh trims up his steaks because it was like a 15 dollar steak when he trims up his steaks now we just give him the joby so I mean, this is Joby, and uh, he definitely likes the, the fat part on his steak, <laughs> and he always says he does, and uh, I mean, this is him, he caught, caught a fish that day, and um, since he's got a picture of him with a fish, I gotta show the picture of the bigger fish that I caught, yeah, even though I'm making a dumb face, but who cares. Now, let's get on to focal length. Let's uh, come come to our uh, 50 millimeter camera here, and let's make sure that we're on it by clicking on this button here and coming down to the 50 millimeter camera. And I'll explain what focal length is. And when you have your presets here, the uh, focal lengths are these presets. These are based on the focal length of the camera. So if I change this to like a 15, the focal length down here will change. Now, what focal length is, is um, it's the distance between uh, the camcorder's lens and the focused image. And um, a lot of people don't really know about it because you don't really need it to operate your camera. But if you want to be good at what you do, you need to understand everything, and understanding focal length is key. So, something with a short focal length is going to offer you a wide angle. So, if I come to the 20 millimeter node here, and look, and look through it, looks like I adjusted the camera at one point. Come on, there we go. We're going to have a wide angle. Now let me check in our top view to see where the camera is located. So it's located back here. And that's the 50 millimeter. Let's check out the 20. The 20 millimeter is up here. Now it's going to have, you're not going to be able to see as far, <clears throat> but you're going to be able to see wider. Kind of like when you uh, zoom out. So, the 200 millimeter, if I click on that, look how different it is. The 200 millimeter camera is way back here, and it has a really narrow field of view. You can see narrower, but from farther away, and that's called telephoto. 
the default setting would be the 50 millimeter, which is the one right here in the middle. So this is 50, this is 20, and this way back here is the 200. Now they're at different angles so that we can, or they're at different uh, amounts of space away from the uh, middle here because that's how we're going to be able to see them. If I drag this 200 millimeter camera up in position, I'm going to have to hold shift because it's so far away. Now if I keep on dragging this up to where the 50 millimeter camera is, and then we look through it. This is what we're going to see. Way zoomed in and everything. It's not what we want. So, so the 200 millimeter camera is good for scenes that have a lot of 3D space in them that's far away. So you'll be able to zoom in with your camera from far away. Let me put the camera back where it was. I'm going to press Control Z. Let's see if that's where it was. I have to look at the top. Yep, that's probably where it was. Uh, redo. Now, if I go into my active camera view and come to my 20 millimeter, or uh, into my 20 millimeter camera view, and I want to show you what happens when you track on the Z axis, which means going forward. Now, I'm, this is the 20, and I'm zooming in just holding my left mouse button down and zooming in and you can see how fairly fast this goes when I zoom in now let's go to the 20 millimeter camera <clears throat> and I'm gonna try to zoom in and this is me just holding the zoom in button and I gotta click and drag to like a whole bunch of times to get anywhere now these uh, pink boxes here are my other cameras now if I hold shift and zoom in I can zoom in a lot faster so that's a tip with your uh, big or uh, longer focal length cameras. So hopefully that explains focal length to you. So in short, use the sh shorter focal lengths for wider angle shots that don't have a lot of length in the 3D. And use the longer focal lengths for telephoto shots where there's a lot of 3D space. and. That's uh, it. that's it. Thanks for watching this tutorial on focal length, and check out some more tutorials on cameras in the next few tutorials that I'm going to make. See you later, everybody.